ladies and gentlemen, welcome to that creepy reading channel, and today is Crappy Pasta Friday. So, why don't I tell you about the three stories I'm about to read? Real Action Heroes is a rather fun one I actually had to rewrite myself. If you've already heard the story, I'll leave a link or an annotation right somewhere on the screen right now so you can skip that. This will be followed by Dead Beauty, and then finally, everyone's favorite little blue hedgehog, who isn't blue anymore, Sonic has no colors. With that being said, let's begin. Real Action Toys is a small, little-known company located in Fukushima, Japan. It was only in business for about two months or so before getting shut down by the police. This is a catalog of ten toys that were released. They were best known for their high-techness, quality, and attention to de detail. They made a single Pokemon figure and lots of Mario figures. The toy were only sold in its native country and caused injury and death. The company was disbanded in May 2006. Mario The Mario figure was a rather terrible idea. The entire body was made out of a bouncy rubber except for the head. The head was made out of steel. This caused younger children to either throw it or bounce it. It only caused slight blood loss and injuries. Luigi The Luigi figure was virtually identical to the Mario figure, save for a few features. Luigi had a real combable hair, and his fists were made out of metal. The head was also made out of rubber, but the inside was made out of steel. The steel was not hollow, and was difficult to detect until under force. Children would throw it at each other and bounce it and throw it. The results were a little more fatal than the Mario figure, but none caused deaths or serious injury. Fireflower Mario Fireflower Mario was made out of a plastic mold, and the body was hollow. If you press the safety switch, small balls would fly out of his hands three at a time. The balls were painted red and glowed in the dark. They seemed harmless enough. Until they opened up. Inside was battery fluid. Children would go blind due to it, and they would be burned and sometimes poisoned too. Few people died from it. Pikachu. Pikachu is possibly safest of all the toys. It was also the only Pokemon toy also. Pikachu was a candy dispenser, kind of like Pez, except it was larger. And you could not buy refills. It was a joke toy as well, when the safety switch was turned on. When the safety switch was turned on, it would give small jolts of electricity and vibrate when giving candy. Only infants could be hurt by it. And one girl accidentally brought it to the bath with her. She got shock marks all over her body, but was not fatally hurt by it. Koopa Bowser. Koopa was a rather dangerous toy. It was a plastic mold. The teeth and spikes were made out of nails. When the safety switch was set on, it would work like a lighter in a fan. The mouth would light up with fire until the fluid ran out. Now, you could replace this with any kind of lighter fluid, but it was guaranteed to stay on for more than a year. Parents were cautioned on the box. And, of course, very few were bought. Like, if anyone saw... Yeah, fuck it. Those that did would either touch a switch and get burned. Only few houses were burned. Koopa Jr. Bowser Jr. Koopa Jr. could be considered on par with his father, possibly higher. Koopa Jr.'s spikes were made out of plastic this time, but the box did not caution parents to the fire that the safety switch causes, and instead said, Fire spitting action. The parents believed it to be plastic fireballs or even plush ones, but this was simply not the case. When the safety switch was turned on, Nothing happened. However, eight seconds later, the lighter fluid would act and the small fireball would spit out. Children would inspect it and get burned. More than 30 houses got burnt down. The random nature would do this because after eight seconds, it would randomly shoot out fireballs. 
Princess Peach. Princess Peach was of lower danger than the others. She was a plush doll that was appealed that was really that was to appeal to little girls. It had real hair and two outfits that are basically the same. And a umbrella that spun like a top. The umbrella spun like a blade blade did by hooking up to a small machine and pulling on a string. The drawback was that Princess Peach's outfits were extremely flammable, and few people were hurt by this. But combined with Koopa, or Koopa Jr., the results were deadly. Boss Puckin, or Petri Piranha. Boss Pecan was a moderately deadly. It was flammable and had teeth made out of rusted nails. Its leaves were thought to be made out of poison ivy, but this is unknown. Boss Pecan caused slight irritation of skin, itchiness, and would explode if it was heated too high. One house was set on fire, and many kids were slightly irritated. Yoshi. Yoshi was a moderately deadly. I did not read that wrong. Yoshi's tongue would stretch an amazing eight feet. The end was sticky and retractable. Occasionally, the tongue would caught on something. And if it was too heavy, the tongue would be swung back and hit the child, caused one death and various injuries to those that stuck their hand in his mouth. Noko Coco. Koopa Troopa. Noko Koka, aka Noko, aka Death Machine, was one of the most deadly. It was made out of metal and plastic. By pushing its legs and arms and head in, it would spin until the safety switch was turned off. Its shell was removable, but sometimes it clamped children's hands in. Another shell was released. It was the Invincible Rainbow Shell. When placed on and the safety switch was pressed, it would spin extremely fast and it caused sea scissors and it had rusty nails that shot out of the sides. The bottom was made out of rubber and would bounce every few seconds and would shoot fire every 8 seconds. The toy caused various seizures and suffocations. If a child was left alone, it could be placed over the mouth. It would cause fires and bleeding. Aftermath. The company was disbanded when the toy designer or maker Toshiro Tajiro um, was sent to prison. The other faculty was given a warning. After six years in prison, one year left to go, Toshiro escaped. He had not been heard from, but recently, the main faculty went mi missing. Last Xmas, a few toys are found in fireplaces on, uh, on Christmas morning. No fingerprints had been found. The toys were recalled and thrown, and thrown away. Officers said to burn or bury them, as there were some issues with them being in garbage truck. Police also wanted to remove all traces of the toys. All videos and pictures were quickly removed. The story about the toys was published about them on Yahoo, but was removed in 2010. The website, now defunct, shown five extra toys for Wave 2. Donkey Kong feature, Donkey Kong's feature was unknown. Invisibru Mario and Luigi would have flashed rapidly, causing seizures. King Boo was a mega bouncy ball made from rubber springs and a crown made from bronze iron. Kirby was shown to function like a vacuum cleaner. A killer bullet pill a killer bullet bill was shown in the picture, but no function was ever given. Or even known to be a toy. Another list shown to have Ganon, Link, Zelda, and Epona, and finally Three forms of Kirby was given along with a King DDD, Escaron, Meta Knight, was also on another list. And there were Sonic characters. Kirby was pre-ordered at Toys R Us and were sent to the houses that did so. Well, dear fuck.
Okay, moving on. Dead Beauty. Do you guys know about the famous My Little Pony cartoon series? Well, around season 3 of My Little Pony, there was an episode that was never meant to be aired. And was not written by any of the show's writers. It was put on YouTube as a downloadable file that, if you had a very old computer, would randomly open on its own. And there was no way to fix this problem. The file was not was only available for three weeks before it got removed by the uploader. There were several reports of the file itself being a virus that caused the computer to crash and reboot itself, which again was another issue that could not be resolved. There were only a few individuals who even downloaded the file. We were reported to have gone insane from watching the episode, forcing them to delete the file off their computers. The reason for this phenomenon were unknown. To this day, there are no traces of this episode. Nobody could view this episode. There are no results can be found on the internet on this episode when put up in a search engine, but only a few random forum posts that I made regarding it. I was one of the few who watched the episode, so as you can clearly see, I'm insane. So I can describe to you the details of the episodes. If you do not want to be disturbed by anything that I tell you, stop listening. The episode starts off with the usual theme playing, then it cuts to the episode, which sorry that I did not mention its name, Dead Beauty. So getting back to the episode. It was just Rarity talking and walking through Equestria for about three minutes before cutting the static. You could hear distorted voices that seemed happy at first. Seeming like Rarity just speaking to her friends. But there's no actual way to be certain. The happy chatter turned into screams of pure terror. Then hearing an explosion by Michael Bay of some sorts. Just then, the quality went back to normal showing all the ponies around what seemed to be black smoke and some inside of it. The screen went black to static for a minute. Then, cutting to a scene at the emergency room, concerned voices and ear-piercing screams could be heard along the static noises. <laughs> On the bed was a pony who was fully bandaged with familiar looking hair, but eyes still visible. I finally figured out that the pony that was bandaged was none other than Rarity. She was one who had the accident and is now lying in a medical bed. The screen cut to black. Now another ear-piercing scream was heard. Louder than the last, sounding more like a woman screaming in agony than any pony. The scream turned into a mourning tears. It was heard louder and louder than the last. It sounded a lot like Rarity's voice now, lasting for about three minutes before a voice as the most clear as anything had been in the episode was heard. Life would be unbearable this way. I cannot go on the way I am. Suddenly darkness and I had been seen and it was the only thing visible in the blackness. Rarity continued to talk. I am an abomination, and my life is meaningless. No one must look at me. No one! The noise was heard, which sounded like a cord being unplugged. Then what seemed like a heart rate monitor we heard going on for the remainder of the episode. Static. Fuck. Moving on. Sonic has no colors. The story I'm about to tell you is something that really happened to me when I was 15 years old. I hope y'all like it. It all began one day at home 
I went to the mailbox along with another mail. I got a package with no return address or sender. Curious, I opened it. It was Sonic Colors game for Wii. The rest of the family was out, so I decided to check the game. The only thing off-putting was the words, has no, written next to colors. The title read, Sonic has no colors. I found it strange, but then I thought it could be hacked, so I excited I turned the game on. There was nothing particular at first, but there were aliens known as Wisp that were missing colors, and Sonic used a colored Wisp and then the screen lost all its color and glitched like crazy. What's more, every time I killed a boss, instead of releasing rings, it shot out red oil. Because, you know, I had to shoot oil, because, you know, robots don't bleed, right? The cutscene were another matter. There was no tails or yakker, and all the wisps had no colors. Every time you beat a world, Sonic would get increasingly frustrated and ask, Where are they? Who are they? Tails and Yakker, maybe? The true horror, though, comes at the end. Originally, after you beat Eggman, it moves right to stage two, which upon completion, you finish the game. I did this, and things went on as normally. But then, when I loaded the completed file, there was a spot on the map that I had never seen before, and it was simply called No Colors. With one stage, heart pounding, I chose it. Upon entering the stage, I saw the cutscene where Sonic stands at the entrance to a cave by himself. He's standing there. It must be there! He rushes in. The stage, devoid of enemies and rings, but one massive, bottomless pit and platforms of spikes all around it, making it slow and a dangerous trek. The background was eerie with things like multicolored liquid and wisps splattered against the wall and ground. At the end, a cutscene shows seven types of wisps with proper coloring and tails in cages. Tails yells at you to run. Then, a figure resembling, shit dog, I can't remember, but I've seen him for sure. Anyway, the figure and says, hello, Sonic, I defeat you. I will succeed in writing the universe's colors, ridding the universe's colors forever. I thought this guy was a crackhead. Sonic says, I won't let you and attacks, but the battle is insanely hard. He fights the final Eggman boss, except his attacks are stronger, has the wisp powers, and is impossible for me to damage it. I tried for a while, but I was defeated by the creature. A cutscene shows a strange dark being being brutally murdering Sonic. The file is erased due to corruption. I was not scared or sad, but in rage. How dare that bastard kill my hero and erase my hacked game. Later I found out that it's possible to become supersonic in colors. And I came up with plan. I started a new file, beat it, collected the Chaos Emeralds, and tried no more colors level once more. This time, Sonic takes out the seven Chaos Emeralds, and a dark figure exclaims, As Sonic uses all the emeralds to go supersonic. Then you fight a dark being at supersonic, and it's no one's hell of a fight. As he attacks, he impedes your progress. There are no more rings to collect, and you have a fixed time limit. The difference is that you can damage him, and attacks just slow you down. Well, you're super, 
rather than inflict damage. When I finally beat him, cutscene shows the creature apparently dead and Sonic frees Tails. T Tails thanks Sonic and tells him they should just head home. Then the credits roll and I turn off the Wii. The next day I turn on the game. There was no save file. I wondered if that was real. What I experienced was real. Then I checked the mail and I had a letter. I read letter and my nearly heart has attack. It said, I'll be buck. And that were three shit passes that I, well, honestly, I, I enjoyed reading. Um, I was told last time by a few commenters that it may be simpler and more fun if I read it like a serious story. So I decided to go, you know, old school campfire. I also got the idea after watching Slow Beast Real House of Horrors. But I also did throw in some of my own flair. Why don't we talk about the first story, Real Action Heroes. The reason why it will not be credited in the description is because that there is no link to it anymore, as the Wikipedia has deleted it from the wiki. Sad, I know. In fact, in order for me to get it, I had to rewrite it based off of a slow beast narration. But overall, it's a shit story, you know? It, it has horrible writing, and there's no realism in it, um, I guess, to build up might be there, might be somewhat there. Overall, I mean, like, it gets, like, half a star for bu for slight build-up. That's it. It sucks. Enough said. Why don't we move on? We get the My Little Pony episode, and not just any My Little Pony episode. It says the season three of the current generation My Little Pony. I may be a brony, but I still understand that new shit like this doesn't stay dead on the internet. I would hear something about it, and there'd most definitely be a file. It just doesn't get deleted, okay? That, that, that's the thing. Maybe if you made an argument back in the 80s, that type of shit happened all the time. But now, that, if, if something crazy like that were to happen, it would spread like wildfire. There, there's no way you can get around it, okay? So, and I also like how dramatic the main character, you know, makes it. Like, you're going insane. <laughs> insane. And then the guy's like, oh, I watched it. And I'm not insane, you know. I'm Sean Connery. And even the contents of the episode wasn't really that scary. It was short, and you could clearly tell it would be less than 30 minutes. Why don't I summarize the story for you? Rarity goes and walks, cuts a static, and you can hear her talk. And then you hear Michael Bay explosion. Kaboom! And... Well, who gives a shit? I don't. Because then she, like, turns out to be, like... Like, I don't know, on something, and, you know, they cut the plug, and fuck it. This is shit, okay? Enough said. Enough said. Because, I don't know. I don't even know what to say to this. This, this was shit. It was shit, and you know it. Anyway, why don't we move on to the final one? Sonic has no colors. The game wasn't scary. The fact that he got it through the mail with a ominous no sender thing... It then plays it. It turns out to be normal. There's some plot elements that are missing, and then, you know, it turns out that there's an extra level called Sonic Has No Colors, and he tries to do the power fantasy thing I explained last time, where he's like, I couldn't beat him, but as soon as I went super sour, big power for Sonic, I was able to do it, bleh. You know, um... And it, maybe this could happen, maybe they could hack it, but as far as I can tell, there's like no real hacks for the Wii U as of yet, and nothing that would add a extra level, so I, quite honestly, I don't quite think that this is a real thing, nor does it even meet the expectations for suspension of disbelief. It's a shit story, and then at the end, it's like, oh, be block, you know, I'm like, are you implying a sequel? What? Sonic should just be retired from being made out of creepypastas. I've, I've seen so many of Sonic creepypastas that I've just barely grasped the surface. And I don't even care. They all turn out to be the same. It's like, ooh, we got Sonic, the super hedgehog. And he, like, gets scared and shit and then dies the end. Oh, by the way, it decided to rip off the story we had last week with Sonic getting his head bashed in. So, yeah! Fuck it. This is a bad story and we all know it. Okay? It's all bad. Enough said.
Thank you for watching my channel. I hope to have more shit passes for you here soon. And stay tuned for next Friday's crappy passes. That being said, I'm out.